Number 83. In a 3.0 liter vessel, the following equilibrium partial pressures are measured. N2 has 190 torr, H2 has 317 torr, and NH3 has 1.00 times 10 to the third torr. And then they give us this equation. So letter A. How will the partial pressures of H2, N2, and NH3 change if H2 is removed from the system? Will they increase, decrease, or remain the same? Okay, so first thing is, I'm just going to write this out a little bit bigger, just so that we can work with it. So I have N2 gas plus 3H2 gas, and this comes to equilibrium. What happened to that extra parenthesis there? 2NH3 gas. Okay, and I just take note that these are all gases, so when we're talking about shifting equilibrium and shocking the system, uh, these are all going to be accounted for because gases uh, will shift in terms of, you know, your equilibrium. So now they're saying that basically H2 is removed from the system, a.k.a. you're you know, you, you're taking it away from the system and you have way too much, or sorry, you have way too little, right? H2 is being removed. So here's H2 in the balanced equation. I know that this is going to drop. But now the question is, because of this drop, which reaction is going to take over? Is the forward reaction going to work or the reverse reaction? Well, if you remove H2, it seems like you got to get it back. You got to undo what is being done. And that's basically what's coming down here. If you're dropping the amount of, of a gas, you have way too little. You need to get it back. So you will shift to the same side. Basically what that means is that if you're decreasing H2 and it's on the reactant side, you will go, whoop, what happened to that arrow? You will go to that side. You got to get it back. If you have too low and you need to get it back, you will go to that side. And now we know that this is the correct arrow. So this reaction is not going to happen. It's going to be going in the reverse direction. And once you make that arrow, you can get rid of what happened because now we're going to be talking about what is being done. If you're going this way, your reactants are going to increase and your products will decrease. Remember, one side has to be going up, the other side has to be going down. And that's basically what's, we just basically answered the question, right? So the pressure of N2 will increase, the pressure of H2 will increase, and the pressure of NH3 will also, uh, actually will decrease because it's on the product side. And that's all that this part was asking for. So they just wanted to know what these partial pressures are gonna be doing. We don't know by how much yet, but we do know that the N2 is going to increase. It's going to plus in amount. The, N, the H2 is going to plus in amount, and you will take away from the NH3. And that's the answer for A. So hang tight because letter B is coming up in a little bit. But if you wouldn't mind, press the subscribe button. Uh, just gets the word out there that this you know service exists, this educational, cool YouTube channel exists. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> what do you think? Thank you, and I will see you for part B. Okay, bye-bye.